how I got my first date with Michelle. Um, I actually, her friend Deanna, I, I sent Deanna a text message that said, I'd love to take her out. She's the prettiest girl at Cornell, which I didn't believe for him for a long time until he really looked at me and was like, no, really, you're the prettiest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I left it at that and kind of went about my business and about three weeks later I got a text message from Deanna. The mission to put a good word in, accomplished. And I read the text message and I just remember being overwhelmed with happiness and then it, then it was all about trying to get that first date with Michelle. I just gotten off shift so my hair was like I was just in my like work clothes but he walked me home and he kissed me here, here, and here and asked me if he could take me out. We went on our first date on February 27th of 2012. Thinking about you at the end of the aisle it has always made my heart melt. I can't believe this dream will come true today. Though today I become your wife, I promise to keep dating you forever and continue learning about the amazing man I will call my husband. I love you more than words can say. Your bride. Uh -huh. Michelle was the one before I even met Michelle because you know I had certain things that I knew I wanted in a woman and I had never met anybody who had all those things obviously and when I finally met Michelle I realized that uh, she had she had the whole package and I just kept waiting for something to come up that was just it was just too good to be true the first couple months and I know that that's how it gets sometimes when you're in a relationship the first couple months everything seems perfect and everything seems you know like it, it could never go wrong and then you start to learn more and more about people and sometimes you just realize things can't work. And the more I got to know Michelle and the more I learned about Michelle, as time went on, the more I was just blown away. I couldn't believe that she had, you know, the, the caring heart and also the fun, energetic side at the same time. And she was also uh, somebody who I could trust with anything. And I don't ever have to worry about her leaving me or not loving me or cheating on me. And, and having that peace of mind is just, it's incredibly valuable to have a partner. I'd like to welcome everyone here to this joyous celebration with Nick and Michelle. You have been invited here because of their love for one another and their joining. You're coming as the new wine, but there's some aging that will take place in your relationship. And over time, the wine will become a superior wine. As you work at it, 
It will grow and change. This is the beginning of that step. You may kiss the bride. What I'm looking forward to the most, Michelle is an adventurer and I'm so excited to explore and learn with her. The list of our hobbies that we want to get into together is, is long and I'm so excited to learn and explore and, and adventure with her and I'm just, I think that's what I'm looking forward to most. And that and starting a family. I can't wait to start a family with her. I'm looking forward to seeing Nick as a dad because I've seen the way he is with my nephews and he's someone who just loves to teach just to show kids things and hear their reactions and listen to them talk and have conversations and kind of watch how they process new things. And I think it's just going to be super cool to see those relationships build and kind of watch them. So, looking forward to that. Tell me your dreams, tell me all you'll ever be. You are the reason, reason I believe. Every one thing to Michelle right now. I'd say uh, try to be present today because uh, it's gonna fly by and everybody that we love is here um, and you know we're gonna wake up and we'll be on our honeymoon and it'll all be over so I'd say just take a step back and look around and feel the love that is around us today so. Anything I could say right now. I guess just thanks for noticing me. It's every girl wants to be pursued and feel the way I feel, so.